Dear all, Namaste. In this video, I shall be discussing about Pinsen's angina, also called as acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis (ANUG) or trench mouth. Pinsen's angina is a progressive painful infection with ulceration, swelling, and sloughing off of the dead tissue from the mouth and throat due to the spread of infection from the gums. The infection starts initially in the interdental papilla of the tooth, then spreads posteriorly to involve the oropharynx or the tonsils. If it involves the oropharynx, this is called as Vincent's angina. It is a very much painful condition. This condition is caused by mixed bacterial flora. They are spirochete, Borrelia vincenti, and anaerobic organism that is Bacillus fusiformis. So the treatment is for both the bacteria. What are the predisposing factors? Bad oral hygiene or poor oral hygiene, smoking, malnutrition, immune defects including HIV and other viral infections, and leukemia all may lead to Vincent's angina. They are the predisposing factors. So in patients with immune deficiency, there may be increased chance of acquiring Vincent's angina. This is seen primarily in early childhood and young adults whose oral hygiene is not very good. What is the basic pathology? This usually presents as gingivitis affecting the interdental papillae, producing ulceration, necrotic membrane, and bleeding from the gums. In this picture, you can see this is the inflammation of the interdental papillae. There is ulceration and there is bleeding from the gums. So this condition may involve all the interdental papillae in the gums. When the tonsils and oropharynx is involved, this is called as Vincent's angina. Therefore, Vincent's angina basically means inflammation of the oropharynx and oral cavity. These painful lesions may be associated with fever, cervical lymphadenopathy, and fever due to infection of the oral cavity and oropharynx, and the fever is due to infection by anaerobic organisms and patient unable to swallow the foods. There will be infection in the oral cavity. How to diagnose? The diagnosis is by smear stained with Jensen violet. We need to identify the spirochete as well as fusiform bacilli. In this picture, you can see the spirochete here and the fusiform bacilli here. So this is 100% diagnostic for the Vincent's angina. So the Tissue or smear has to be taken from the oral pharynx or from the oral cavity from the ulcers or necrotic tissues. Treatment can be performed by local treatment and systemic treatment. Local medicines are antiseptic mouthwash, they are very important, antiseptic to reduce the inflammation and to kill the organisms. Topical anesthetic agents are given to decrease the pain. This condition is very much painful condition, so called Vincent's angina. Therefore, topical anesthetics help to decrease the pain to some extent. Oral NSAIDs can be given. Sometimes, these NSAIDs may cause ulcers in the oral cavity, so we have to be careful to prescribe NSAIDs in these conditions. We can give steroids to decrease the inflammation also. Oral debridement and hygiene instruction is very important. The oral tissue, the necrotic tissue is to be debrided and patients should be explained about the oral hygiene. Hydrogen peroxide mouthwash can be used to decrease the slough formation or to clean the or clear the slough. Systemic antibiotics are means of treatment. We have to give medicine both for spirochete and the fusiform bacilli. Benzyl penicillin and metronidazole can be given for 7 to 10 days with adequate hydration, vitamins, and mouthwash. So patients shall be alright by 7 to 10 days. Please subscribe my channel Dr. Krishna Kuerala for more videos like this. Thank you. Have a good day.